Today, county commissioners sat down to discuss solutions to the problem. Our Evan Watson was there, joins us now. Evan, among the many things discussed, there was talk of a potential pretty big fine for the county's ambulance provider. Yeah, this came late in the Q&A session. Multnomah County may find Amar half a million dollars for late responses in just hmm. August alone, wow. which is really going to raise the stakes here. When we get to that, that's what one EMS administrator told county commissioners in a meeting earlier today, but a potential fine aside, there's still friction over ambulance staffing. Multnomah well, County needs more ambulances on the road, but what is that best way forward? We regulate a very high quality system that we must maintain to save lives, but we are not satisfied with the recent decline in response time performance. Right. Multnomah County commissioners are asking health leaders about the county's persistent ambulance problems. I mean, that's the elephant in the room, right? Is we, there's not enough staffing. Ambulance provider AMR has failed to meet county standards for response time since early 2022. New data shows response times didn't improve between March and June of this year. Ambulances are supposed to get to emergencies within eight minutes. Right now, that's only happening about 60% of the time. Multnomah County and AMR made changes recently, getting all EMT crews on the road and upgrading 911 dispatch. The hope is these changes will help free up paramedic crews, but there's still a long way to go. There are not enough EMTs still. We have nine. We need about 40 to effectively take all of these calls out of the 911 system. My Meanwhile, Commissioner board. Sharon Myron, AMR and others are pushing for the county to allow mixed ambulance crews of one paramedic and one EMT. I would choose the quick response of a paramedic and an EMT, ideally with fire, over waiting Excruci even excruciating minutes for a two paramedic system any day, any time. But county health leaders, including EMS Medical Director John Jew, swear by the two paramedic requirement that's been in place for decades. There is data on cardiac arrests showing better outcomes with two paramedics rather than one medic and one EMT. Data from adjacent counties have shown these are one plus one. They have similar issues, so one plus one does not actually solve the problem. Any way you look at it, Myron said something needs to change quickly. People are not getting their emergencies responded to fast enough. So let's go back to that fine. Multnomah County has the ability to do that in the EMS service agreement. They haven't yet in the 18 months that we've been seeing late response times, but this half a million dollars that was floated today, that's still potential. Multnomah County is going over the data for the month of August. That's related to late responses, how long it takes the ambulance to get there. There's a lot of minutia there with it, but that'll certainly kind of raise the stakes of this tension between AMR and Multnomah County as everyone's looking for a better way to improve response times in the county. Dave. Yeah, I mean, when it's life and death, it could really matter. We appreciate the update and we know you'll be staying across this for us. Thanks, Evan.